You're lying in bed, drifting off to sleep, when suddenly you're jolted awake by a startling loud noise, except that noise is just in your head. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 diseases that can't be explained. A regular routine for many, agonizing for Rod Palmateer. It feels like my tongue has been burnt. For this list, we'll be looking at bizarre and rare diseases that betray our understanding of the human body. We will be defining disease in a broad sense to include any condition that causes pain, discomfort, or dysfunction within the body. Which of these do you find the scariest? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Alice in Wonderland Syndrome To be honest, Alice in Wonderland Syndrome is a pretty mind-bending condition. Literally. This neuropsychological condition takes its name from Lewis Carroll's iconic novel and directly references one experience in particular. Those suffering from Alice in Wonderland Syndrome, or dysmetropsia, experience an impaired sense of perception. Patients can report things as looking longer than they should be, or slowing down in time. Things seem to be slow or fast. Some patients report they can't even see motion. Objects appear smaller or larger than they actually are, not to mention closer or farther away. Basically, it makes you feel like Alice after she drinks the mysterious potion. This condition is typically associated with head injuries and migraines, but no one really knows what causes it. One leading theory is that an abnormally large amount of blood is sent to the area of the brain that processes perception, resulting in a warped sense of reality. But again, this is just one theory among many. Oh dear, I do wish I hadn't cried so much. Number 9. Foreign Accent Syndrome This is an incredibly rare condition. Between 1941 and 2009, the medical community documented just 62 confirmed cases of foreign accent syndrome. And um, I was a bit concerned, and I, I, with the ill health, I tend to get over fatigued, so I thought it was that. When an individual acquires this condition, they begin speaking in what sounds like a different accent. I am looking forward to digging into those large fries with the ketchup and the milkshake. Say a little Irish, maybe. Maybe? Well, how Irish are you? Um, I've never been to Ireland in my life. However, it's not like a Midwestern American suddenly wakes up with a flawless Welsh dialect. Rather, this syndrome relates to an altered type of speaking that is only perceived as a different accent. Was it a bit of a novelty for you early on? A little bit, but mostly it was just a bit confusing, I think. I never realized how you sound is actually really quite a part of your identity. Mm. The medical community doesn't really know what causes FAS, but it's likely due to significant damage in the left hemisphere of the brain. As a result, the syndrome typically becomes pronounced after serious head trauma or, more commonly, a stroke. I could hear the nurses laughing in the hallway because they didn't think that this was real. Number 8. Hutchinson-Guilford Progeria Syndrome Simply known as progeria, this is an extremely rare disorder that causes premature aging in young children. Kaylee, how old are you? Six and a half. And now you're six, and, and in July you're going to be seven. Seven. That's a big girl. Victims experience significant developmental delays before physical symptoms become pronounced. Those suffering from progeria are typically short, bald, and have a disproportionately small face. You know, everybody has their own obstacles in life, um, you know, whether they be daily obstacles or, you know, um, whatever frequency they are. And uh, for me, I just take them as they come. Progeria typically takes the victim around 13 or 14 years old. What we do know is that the disease is caused by an abnormal protein called progerin. But no one knows why the disease causes rapid aging. It's believed that compounds called free radicals cause premature damage to the cells, resulting in their impaired function. Either way, this is a horrible disease that affects 1 in 18 million children. And, and, and what do you hope? What do you hope is going to happen? I hope um, if I grow hair and, and grow I hair? grow curly hair. Oh. Number 7. Morgellons Delusional Parasitosis Morgellons is not actually recognized by the medical community. Those purportedly suffering from Morgellons tend to self-diagnose and claim that they have skin lesions containing some sort of unnatural fibrous material. The X-Files, it's nothing short of that. The medical community believes that this is a form of delusional parasitosis, in which victims believe that bugs or parasites are living under their skin. Just why people believe this is not known. They say people who claim to have it are delusional conjuring up parasites, scratching themselves, even planting textiles like cotton on themselves 
to feed the delusion. The leading theory is that the brain is overloaded by dopamine due to a malfunctioning dopamine transporter. This transporter can break down from a variety of diseases and infections or from harmful stimulants. At times, though, this delusion may be a part of other psychoses, schizophrenia, bipolar affective disorder, or a major clinical depression. This is why delusional parasitosis is often associated with cocaine use and is informally known as cocaine bugs. Number six, dancing mania. Many people have heard of the bizarre dancing plagues. Occurring between the 14th and 17th centuries, these were outbreaks of random dancing that occurred in thousands of individuals across Europe. And this wasn't fun dancing. It was dancing to the point of physical exhaustion and collapse and maybe even injury. One can only imagine what is driving him to push himself to such limits. To this day, no one has any idea what these plagues were about. Some claim that the dancing was meant to alleviate stress and that it wasn't a disorder at all. Others believe they were staged by religious cults. And some believe it was a genuine illness caused by ergot poisoning or epilepsy. Contemporary sources had no idea what caused it, and unlike virtually everything else from medieval Europe, that knowledge has not improved. Number 5. Burning Mouth Syndrome You know that intense feeling you get after eating something spicy? Well, imagine living with that for years or even for the rest of your life and you have burning mouth syndrome. We think it happens because the nerves misfire and therefore you get these funny sensations. It, it can actually be quite painful. Sufferers of this bizarre condition feel a scalding or tingling sensation in their mouths that cannot be alleviated and does not have a medical cause. This is not a harmful condition, but it tends to negatively affect the quality of life and as such is typically treated with antidepressants. Very uncomfortable just to be sitting doing nothing. English pop singer Sheila Chandra was forced to retire due to this condition, as simply speaking causes her great pain. No one has any idea what causes BMS, and there is no known cure. There is not a lot of definitive uh, understanding as to what causes it. What are the best ways to treat it? Number four, sweating sickness. And here we have yet another mysterious disease that struck Europe throughout the 15th and 16th centuries. The sweating sickness began with great limb pain and violent cold shivers. When you get an infection, sometimes your brain will say, okay, as part of our reaction to this, let's turn up the heat. That's when oftentimes you'll develop chills and shivering because your body's literally trying to heat itself up, right? After an hour or two, people would break out in heavy sweat, experience an unquenchable thirst, and grow delirious before collapsing or dying. All this occurred in just one day and came completely out of the blue. The last recorded outbreak occurred in 1551, although France experienced something similar as recent as 1918. No one has any idea what caused it, but theories range from an unknown hantavirus to the poor sanitation of the time. Living back then really did suck. Number three, pica. One of the most peculiar disorders on this planet is pica, which occurs both in humans and other mammals. Pica is the desire to eat objects that are not food and do not have any nutritional value. I'm addicted to eating drywall. This can include the likes of drywall, glass, wood, and even more disgusting things like urine and feces. While pica is not harmful in itself, the objects that a victim swallows can do great damage to their bodies and intestinal tracts. I would normally take a piece like this and normally just put it in my mouth or bite on it or just put the whole piece in my mouth. And pica is currently categorized as a mental disorder and the exact causes are up for debate. Some believe it has something to do with OCD and schizophrenia, while others think it arises from mineral deficiencies in the blood. We just know that mineral levels can be low um, in, in some of these patients, and you know maybe that's actually an after effect of the fact that they're eating non-nutritive substances. Number two, aquagenic urticaria. More simply known as water allergy, aquagenic urticaria proves that humans aren't meant to be in the water. Well, some humans anyway. Those suffering from water allergy will break out in hives after coming into contact with water. This occurs with all forms of water and with any temperature. 
Even sweating or crying can result in hives, as the water content found within sweat and tears is enough to cause an outbreak. The couple says little Ivy can only be in the water for up to 15 seconds before her skin starts to burn and develops blisters. The hives may itch, and they typically disappear after an hour or so. There is no known cure for this phenomenon, aside from avoiding water, that is. Any surface that the tear touches will become itchy, and it often comes up red on my face as well. And, and yes, that means no baths or showers. And best of all, no one has any idea what causes it. It's just one of those things. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Exploding Head Syndrome For something so widespread, it's funny how few people have even heard of exploding head syndrome. This is a sleep disorder where victims hear very loud noises when either falling asleep or waking up. An air horn. An explosion. A gunshot. Imagine being awakened by one of these from a sound sleep. Some even report accompanying visual disturbances like flashes of bright light. What's truly fascinating is that one in every 10 people reportedly experience this phenomenon. The good news is that despite the horrifying symptoms, the syndrome is not dangerous and reassurance is often enough to alleviate the resulting anxiety. I've heard of, of cases where people had it up to seven times a night, so you can imagine that would cause an enormous amount of sleep disruption. However, exploding head syndrome has no known cause, although it's likely due to some type of harmless dysfunction in what is called the reticular formation. So instead of shutting down your auditory neurons when you're going to sleep, for some reason they all fire at once and that's why you get this really loud noise. This plays a major role in our brain's ability to process sleep and consciousness. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.